Walmart. We're gonna do a fishing challenge for beginners. And so we're gonna get in there, show fishing lures for bass for beginners. So let's get in there. Today we're gonna be doing beginner bass fishing. So what you're gonna need first is some hooks. So I get these three hot heavy wire worm hooks, extra wide gap, EWG. And then for weights, I get these Ozark Trail. They're 94 cents, they're cheap in case you lose some. The next, you're gonna need baits, so we'll hop over there. All right, so now you're gonna need soft baits for those hooks. So I get these Intel Zoom worms. Then I get these Watermelon Red Flake Yum Dingers. And these Zoom Green Pumpkin Mini Lizards. Or you can get these chartreuse lizards, these work great as well. The next for the spinner bait, we're gonna get a chartreuse in white, and then we're just gonna need a regular black and blue jig. And then the last thing for the skirted baits is this chatter bait, chartreuse in white. I caught a bunch of fish on those. Alright, now you need a hard bait. So I picked this red rattle trap right here. And then this Gugan banger, which they're probably not always gonna have Gugan. So you can just pick an Ozark trail like that one right there. But I like this Gugan black back with chartreuse. So now you're gonna need something for top water. So I'd recommend a frog. This is just a Strike King frog in all black. And then sometimes they won't bite the black ones. And so you get this and it has the white underbelly. So different days is when you use these different frogs. And they have all these kits right here. So I recommend this one by Young. It comes with some curly tails, some lizards, some Young dingers, and it comes with some hooks. It doesn't come with weights, so I'd get weights if you got this kit. But it comes with an assortment for only like $12.99. So that's a really good box because each of these are two dollars a piece so that adds up more than 12 plus hooks and weights so those kits i showed yesterday i actually have one so i'm gonna go ahead and show you all what's in it so what's in it is two th well three different types of cinco's watermelon red black and blue flake and like a green pumpkin which that one right there i found and that one right there i found so don't count those there's like a, so that's a green pumpkin Here's some green pumpkin trick worms. Here's some black and blue curly tails, which these are really good. And then some lizards, which these all are yum baits. These lizards are really nice too. They're like a green pumpkin lizard. And then it comes with hooks, which these hooks aren't the greatest. That's why I would get the other standard EWGs. But it does not come with weights. So, yes, some people like using weightless, but I personally don't. So, I would go ahead and grab a extra pack of weights like i said if you do get this box and the price on this is 12 bucks so it's a good deal it's 42 assorted it's three three out hooks two four out hooks one tackle tray and this is a reusable tackle tackle tray you can just peel all this off after you use everything so i would recommend this for bass all right then you have all these lines right here which you probably probably don't know what to get and so i recommend just getting this omni zebco i don't go under 12 pounds so there's 12 pounds that's all they have right now but i would recommend getting 12 pound and it's just this line right here it's 249 compared to all these other ones which would do the same exact thing but are like 14 dollars and all that so i'd recommend getting this so i was editing this video and i noticed i did not say a thing about fishing licenses so i would recommend going and getting one so ch i would check your state see what the regulations are on them and all that and you can get them online at walmart I think even Dick Sports and where else you can get them anywhere that sells fishing stuff pretty much. I would recommend getting one because you don't want to get caught without one. So another thing I didn't say and I recommend is pliers, needle nose pliers. So these right here just standard needle nose. And then we have these from Walmart, which these have the little line cutter as you can see right there. And so that just helps me snip the line. You got these are like five bucks at Walmart. Cheap thing, and it helps get the hooks out if they're stuck. It's just more leverage. So I would recommend getting a pair of these. Alright, so that is gonna be the end of this video. So if you enjoyed it like comment and subscribe comment if you want to see any other fishing because this is only for bass so if you want to see panfish catfish i'll do it i'll come back to the same thing